meteorologist Chris Boone. Cold and winter-like for much of the United States. We're seeing those cool temperatures again throughout the entire country. Again, much colder out towards Minneapolis. Again, only at four degrees. They had some blizzard warnings earlier in the day that has since been allowed to expire, but still dealing with some of that cold air and snow. Fortunately, it's going to stay off towards the north. We're seeing clear skies for us here in the Lone Star State. At least for the most part, we just have some of those high clouds passing through the southern parts of the state, again, out towards Corpus Christi and in towards the Houston area, but all south of the Concho Valley. And that's why we're seeing those clear skies for us here in San Angelo. The last 24 hours, again, temperatures, a little bit of a roller coaster. We got down to the lower 20s last night, warmed up pretty nicely into the upper 50s. We're going to continue that trend just a tad bit warmer as we go into your Saturday as well. Again, already seeing those temperatures starting to drop down now that we've gotten past sunset. 37 in downtown San Angelo, two points a little bit on the drier side, and then those light winds only at three miles per hour. So again, relatively calm compared to what we've seen in the past couple of days. We're seeing those 40s and 30s across the entire Concho Valley. In fact, 44 in Brady, 43 in Menard, a couple of 30s along the southern parts down towards I-10, 38 in Junction, 34 in Ozona, and then we got 36 out towards Merchant. So again, that's going to be cool. About where we're at, about where we're going to end up as we go through the overnight hours. Only going to drop a couple more degrees. Temperatures falling into the low 30s. Clear and cold in those light winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, it's going to be a tad bit warmer. Temperatures warming up into the upper 60s, an afternoon high of 67 degrees. It's a little bit warmer. Still staying with those southwesterly winds. And again, plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful day. So if you missed out on taking advantage of today's weather, tomorrow you're going to be in luck. You really want to get out there and kind of make the most of it. Especially enjoying the fact that we're going to have those calm winds for us on Saturday. Still out of the southwest. That's going to allow things to warm up. But as we go into Sunday, those winds really start to ramp up. We see gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times. Again, sustained winds nearly 25 miles. So a very breezy Sunday in store. And that's going to allow us to warm up even further going in towards Sunday as well as Monday. So again, the second half of your President's Day weekend looking much warmer as those southerly winds pick up. 70s for us on Sunday, 80s on Monday. And we will have a chance for an isolated rain shower or two, but still going to see those breezy winds to start off what is going to be a shortened, shortened work week. As we go in towards the middle of next week, we see that cool, cool Arctic air start to make its push down through the Great Plains, start to work its way into the Lone Star State and work its way in towards the Concho Valley as well. It's going to bring some much cooler temperatures by the middle of the week. When we couple their chances for some precipitation with those cold temperatures, we could start to see a little bit of that wintry mix. Quiet for the weekend. Won't see our rain chances really until late on Monday. Again, that's going to be an all-rain event. Very scattered and isolated across the Concho Valley and for Texas as well. But as we get into the middle of the week, that's when we have that cold air in place. Start to see those shades of pink. The chances for some wintry mix as well as some snow possible going in through Thursday as well. So that's certainly something we're going to watch in, watch for as that it gets a little bit closer. So again, a first quiet weekend in store. 60s and 70s as we go through the weekend. 80s for us on Monday. Then we see that cold front drop. Temperatures going from 75 on Tuesday down to the 40s for Wednesday.